street code. The street code? Yep. Street code, uh, basically, respect each other. You know, everybody got bosses in certain places in their hood. You know, respect a number G's girl. You know the difference from the wife and the girls. But a man wife should always be respected. I believe that one of the codes is never to talk to the police. And it should be never to kill the police. Because once you kill a cop, that's a reason to come kill you. Or that's when the whole shit just becomes ugly. And, um, certain things you know not to do. Uh, stay on point. Don't serve anybody if you sell drugs and shit. You know, greed is always going to get you in trouble. All money ain't good money. And uh, if you're doing it, try not to let it be known that you're doing it. You feel me? Stay off the radar. Uh, if you're a boss, man, act like you're not, man. And, and, and that's it, that's all, man. You know, I'd rather if I know who I am, I don't have to prove that to nobody. Shit. So the one with all the jury, the chains, and acting like he Willy Wonka in the chocolate front, in the chocolate factory, you don't even own a candy bar, bro. So you gotta be able to see through the deception. All that shine ain't gold, bro. You know what I mean? And be quiet, man. Be quiet, man. Don't, don't. This is, I don't want to curse, but I'm a curse. This was our philosophy within our little clique. This was, real niggas don't suck dick, man. They get their dick sucked. And that's how we used to move. So we ain't sweat nobody, bro. So when we don't sweat nobody, niggas got to respect them, connect respect Because you're telling them, like, yo, look, we got control of this shit. You going to give it to for this, this price or, or beat it? You know what I mean? But we, you make it where... You know, just as well as you know, he got to eat, he, we got to eat, and everybody got to eat, man. So if we break it down evenly and respectfully, everybody win, man. And nobody got to be, nobody suck, and ain't got to be none of that bullshit. To me, the streets lost all that. None of those codes exist. Anything goes now. You know what I mean? And uh, it's just, you played it at your own risk now. Cameras everywhere, you see every everything that happens. When someone robs somebody or somebody do something, you see it right on the on TV within the next second. Cameras everywhere. The game is over, bro. It's common sense. If you get money and you acting like it like that in the streets to me today, if you acting like it is, believe me, you got a badge. You got a badge, man. You want them deep cover ass niggas, man. That's how I see it, bro. So today you really got to be more, 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 more careful. Because they in portraying these little gangs now and shit. Acting like they the big homies. But the other big homie is coaching that gang, and the other big homie is coaching that gang, but this is the government coaching y'all into an ambush. To put you in prison because prison is big big business today. Every year you give them, that's like 60000 to whoever owned the prison. I think they just locked up a judge when they busted because one of the people that owned the prison was giving them some payola under the table like, yo, send me a hundred more niggas and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like the mob and shit. That's how deep and nasty this world has become through corruption, bro. So who's the bad guy here? Nobody. Everybody trying to survive the best way they can under the law of justice, which means just us and we're frozen in time. Until we come up out of that ice and become one with God again, we live in a doomsday. Anything's liable to happen. What was the first mob?